What you got there? If you like pina coladas, I made you a pina colada. For Father's Day. For Father's Day. Thank you, baby. Oh, cheers to you, too. Mm. Cheers. <laughs> All right, guys, so it's only 80 or so. Power went out today. So they just sent a fella over. He's checking on uh, some stuff to see if we can get this juice turned back on. All right, so kudos to the rangers that work out here for Muskingum Watershed. A, uh, one of the park rangers shows up with his multimeter, tests it out, sees it's dead, goes over to the main breaker box, resets everything, and we are back up and kicking. So note to self, when you're out here in these 30 amps, you said they're pretty old systems. Um, and even your hot water tank element, if you're running on your electric hot water tank, um, and your air kicks on at the same time, we'll pop these old breakers. So note to self, if you have two ACs, don't come here. Back to the F loop anyway. So Shelly K, oh. you want to show everybody around the F and loop? Yeah. We'll start there. Yeah. Site 634 in the F loop. Primarily seasonal campers back here. There are a few sites right there. Backs right up into the uh, lake, river, lake. What is it? Lake. Yeah. Then we'll just do a drive-through. Okay. So here in the F loop, most of these are seasonals, but there are some daily spots. You can see them posted separate here with some lake views. Come around the corner at the end of the loop. There is Miss Shelly K on our site. Say bye, Shelly K. And then we go into all the seasonal stuff, all the way up through F. do have a shower house and bathrooms up here on F, up at the beginning. There is a little playground up here too. And that's the end of F. We'll cruise on down the road and we'll get into the full-time spots. So also back here on the F and loop, these are daily sites starting with number 607, 608, 609, and so on. They do back up to the water, but they are crazy out of level. They're not very deep at all, and they're gravel. Like a tent or a pop up, maybe, but these suckers drop off by like two or three feet uh, from front to back. It looked like they have. I have electric, 30 amp. Yeah, like these are almost tent spots with a parking pad, is what I would call them. There's a couple of little docks for the campground for those people that uh, are here seasonally. Park your boats. Come into some other seasonal loops here. They even have a couple of little rental cabins. You want the family to come up with you? Look, like they have two of those. And that's the end of the E section. So here in this section B, they have a huge shower house. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So here's section B, where the rich and famous must live. They've got concrete pads, full hookups. Uh, everything looks pretty nice and level. Extra wide for parking space. Very nice. And then Shelly Kay said she saw a beach access path. So let's go check that out.
this is the beach access train. Shelly Cave is not like hills. Nice beach, big blow up toy out there for the kids. It's all the way down. Concession stand, restrooms. So I remember you read something about 27 different flavors of ice cream. Yeah, and plump hot dogs on juicy hamburgers. <laughs> I'd say we get ice cream at the other place though, because it had like legit like ice cream, hard. not soft serve. Yeah, right, yes, I agree. Yeah, back here, so you can get day use passes to the park just to come in and use the beach. They got nice picnic areas back here set up. Uh, super nice access to, uh, to some shady spots. It's really nice. Here's more green space access. There's several shelter houses on the property that you can rent. Uh, I don't know if they charge for them or if it's first come first serve kind of a deal. But they've got several of those set up throughout the park for family gatherings and such. All right, so out at the far end of the campground is where the glamp out really took place is in the H section. So we're riding out the road and uh, we're gonna show you guys what H has got to offer. I think this is the newest section of the park pretty sweet all right so here's the entrance to H which is pretty empty now this place was packed completely full We've got nice lake views so the campground is kind of set on a slope so even the trailers that are between you and the lake you still have some nice windows to see the water there are several loops off of it Go down and hit a couple of them and show you what it's got. All right, so that was one loop of H. H has got a huge shower house, pavilion. Uh, I think there's even laundry in there. Playground, everything all set up. Oh, we still got a Chuck and Sherry down here. And down here at the bottom of H, there's a nice little walking path right here down to a dock to fish. Just out of H on the main road, you can pick up the path. And there's several hiking trails that lead off of this one. One of them will take you up to the observation tower, and it turns into a nice blacktop bike trail that'll take you up into the marina. Here is the basketball, pickleball, tennis courts. The store is under construction, but it is open. It's like they're like double the size of the store, so that's gonna be pretty nice once they get it opened up. They've got a little restaurant in there, pretty good food. And there's a nice bike trail all the way through the uh, A and B section that uh, keeps the kids off the roadway. So where are we headed to now, dear? Um, this is the camp store. Oh, it's under construction, but it's still open. Food is good. We've eaten here two other times before, and we're about to eat here again. Again. Yes, we have a lot of um, 
like homemade baked goods and things too. You'll see. So here is section A. Let's do a little trip through there. Yeah, section A looks to be seasonal sites. There's a whole nother route back through there. Really nice little manicured up here too. Another nice shower house, restrooms over here by the camp store. Yeah, Shelly K says all the shower houses are really nice. Um, they put a lot of a lot of time into keeping this place up. There's another little section over here by the shower house that loops around. It's the 725, it's like 725, 726. Another small little loop back here. There's a little trail right here that leads you off the street over to the Welcome Center. Look at that rig right there. Is that a super duper C? And then here's the visitor center. And the trail will bring you down across the bridge and it's a nice paved trail all the way out to the marina. We rode that last year. Yep, sure did. And the visitor center is where you also check in. Right. Yeah, not great magnets. We don't have much to buy in there, but it's still very pretty good. the camp store has everything which is separate from the visitor center. So once again, I'm climbing these hills, struggling, and Shelly Kay is like, what's the matter? Yeah. Come on. I love my e-bike. I'm not even breathing heavy. But look how pretty it is. Shelly Kay doesn't uh, like the steep downhills. There's no way I can stay in front of her. I can hit the downhills quick to try to save some energy coming back up the hills. But she slows down on the downhills and gets to use her e-bike to come back up. Cheater. So there's a fork in the trail. If you go to the right and go up the hill, that takes you on to up the, uh, the end of the path. But if you go straight and across the road, it'll take you to the marina. And Shelly Kay just smoked past me going up the hill. Now we gotta go catch up again. And fun fact on this trail, for you geocachers out there, there is a geocache on this trail. So if you're out for a walk, a wike, if you're out for a walk or a bike ride, Turn on that geocaching app, see if you can find it.
All right, so fun fact. I just went smoking down that hill. And uh, yeah, that's the dead end of the trail. So now I'm turning around and gonna ride back up said hill. So just so you're aware, uh, the trail from the split at the marina isn't very far. Um, but it's pretty back here, so definitely worth taking a few minutes to ride it. So right next to the marina, you have camping areas number one and two, and I believe three and four are further down. But these are all part-time and seasonal, or uh, seasonal and full-time maybe? I'm not sure. No? No? Because Brandy was tent camping down here. Oh, uh, okay. And then the little trail just kind of dead ends into the parking lot of the marina. We have a nice little restaurant over here too. And then here is the, uh, the restaurant. Looks like it's built onto an old lighthouse. set of public restrooms over here. So, Atwood Lake is what? They have a 25 mile, no, they have a 25 horsepower limit. Right. Uh, so that makes it really nice for kayaking too. So you're not gonna have crazy fast boats out there. Right. And, and let's go get the kayak out. 